Christians see in the New Testament the fulfillment of the promise of the Old Testament. New Testament relates and interprets the New Covenant, represented in the life and death of Jesus, between God, and the followers of Christ, the promised Messiah. The New Testament tells the story of the life of Jesus and the early days of Christianity, most notably Paul's efforts to spread Jesus' teaching. Its original texts were written in Koine Greek by various authors after 45 AD and before 140 AD. A history of the New Testament is made difficult by the relatively short time span covered by its books when compared with the millennium and more of history described by the Old Testament. The books are not arranged chronologically in the New Testament. The books are instead arranged in a more logical narrative order, the Gospels telling the life of Jesus and his teachings, the Acts detailing the work of Christ's followers in propagating the Christian faith, the epistles teaching the meaning and implications of the faith, and revelation prophesying future events and the culmination of the divine purpose. Twenty-seven books of the New Testament were gradually collected into a single volume over a period of several decades. A couple of decades after the crucifixion of Jesus, Paul started to write to the churches he had founded, sometime in the 50s AD. Until then, the stories about Jesus and his sayings must have circulated orally. The Gospels were not written till later still, probably in the 70s to 90s AD. The turning point for the compilation of Christian Bible lay in the second half of the 4th century, when Orthodox bishops tendentiously excluded heretical writings from the Christian Biblical canon, at councils such as Laodicea, 363 AD, Rome, 382 AD, and Hippo, 393 AD. The mood was summed up in the 39th Festal Letter of Bishop Athanasius, in 367 AD, which listed exactly the books that now form the New Testament as the only ones to be accepted and believed. In almost all Christian traditions today, the New Testament consists of 27 books, these books can be further categorized into five major portions. One for canonical Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The word Gospel derives from the Old English God spell, meaning good news or glad tidings. The Gospel was considered the good news of the coming Kingdom of Messiah, and the redemption through the life and death of Jesus, the central Christian message. The first three Gospels listed above are classified as the Synoptic Gospels. They contain similar accounts of the events in Jesus' life and his teaching, due to their literary interdependence. The Gospel of John is structured differently and includes stories of several miracles of Jesus and sayings not found in the other three. These four Gospels that were eventually included in the New Testament were only a few among many other early Christian Gospels. To the Acts of the Apostles The Acts of the Apostles is a narrative of the Apostles' ministry and activity after Christ's death and resurrection, from which point it resumes and functions as a sequel to the Gospel of Luke. Examining style, phraseology, and other evidence, Modern scholarship generally concludes that Acts and the Gospel of Luke share the same author. Three Epistles of Paul Of the 27 books in the New Testament, 13 or 14 are traditionally attributed to Paul, though only seven of these Pauline epistles are accepted as being entirely authentic and dictated by St. Paul himself. The Pauline letters are the 13 New Testament books that present Paul the Apostle as their author. Four seven general epistles. The Catholic epistles or general epistles consist of both letters and treatises in the form of letters written to the church at large. The term Catholic, used to describe these letters in the oldest manuscripts containing them, here simply means general or universal. The authorship of a number of these is disputed. 5. The Book of Revelation. The final book of the New Testament is the Book of Revelation, also known as the Apocalypse of John. The Book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, 
has fascinated and puzzled Christians for centuries. With its vivid imagery of disaster and suffering, the Battle of Armageddon, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, the hideous beast whose number is 666, many have seen it as a map to the end of the world. Some ascribe the writership date as circa 81 to 96 AD, this period in the Church's history, AD 95 to 96, was fraught with struggle and conflict as Rome insisted on the worship of its rulers and considered Christianity a threat to its religious control. Domitien was responsible for many acts of cruel injustice, among them the torture, banishment, and death of influential Christ followers. The words of Revelation would have reminded them of God's sovereign plan, arranged from beginning to end, perhaps prompting them to lift their hands in praise rather than surrender. This text is still used by evangelical Christians to interpret current events in expectation of the end times, and elements of it find frequent use in popular entertainment.